lined the streets of Fifth Avenue today for New York City's version of the St. Patrick's Day Parade. This year's parade is dedicated to the cause of supporting immigration. The Grand Marshal is an activist and immigration attorney who marched with some of his clients. Uh, tomorrow, it'll be Boston's turn. WBC's Tiffany Chan is in Southie tonight. Join us. The work being done to welcome one million revelers. The streets are quiet now, but come the morning, the sidewalks here along East Broadway and South Boston will be flooded with people for the St. Patrick's Day Parade. Organizers expecting as many as one million spectators. It's a beloved Boston tradition rooted in history. Boston has a strong Irish heritage. It's nice to see everyone come out and really support the past. Much of South Boston is preparing for the St. Patrick's Day frenzy. I'm getting drunk like my ancestors would and wearing green. The annual parade kicks off at 1 p.m. outside of the West Broadway T station, stretching three and a half miles. This year, parade organizers tell us they want to focus less on the big party and more on its military roots. And to take this parade and to celebrate and have so much fun for St. Patrick's Day, but also commemorate those who serve. Is, uh, it's the only parade in the world that does that. Close to one million spectators are expected along the parade route, making safety a top priority. Boston police will be out in full force. Uh, they will be looking, uh, you know, watching for, you know, public drinking and things like that, and uh, they are going to be issuing citations. Bars also plan to keep a closer eye on patrons. Staff at the Broadway are preparing to serve close to 2,500 people Sunday, and they've got plenty of green beer to go around. You do have a lot of people outside and a lot of people inside, and you got to make sure that the two don't really combine and we lose control of that. And this time, the weather is supposed to be nice, so you can call it the luck of the Irish. The city is really encouraging people to leave their cars at home, even posting these no stopping special event posters here along East Broadway, really encouraging people to take public transportation instead. In South Boston, I'm Tiffany Chan for WBZ News.